Hey, I'm Brian Van. I'm Max Van. Today we're going to break down the all-new Revit Aragon 2 one-piece race suit. The all-new Revit Aragon 2 one-piece race suit retails for $9.99. It's really affordable. It's feature-packed. The quality's great. Lots of value with this suit. Let's start off with sizing. So, I'm 5'11", 6' foot for some of you people out there. Uh, and I'm 152 pounds, and I'm wearing a size 50 euro. Underneath, he has on the back protector that he's been racing in. If you want to go ahead and give him a 360, we'll talk a little bit about the fit pattern of this race suit. As compared to some of the others on the market, this is a roomier cut, and it's also cut in a more upright, less aggressive position than we see from some of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. This cut really appeals to a lot of riders that are doing track days, you know, uh, maybe some club racing, that don't want a race suit that it always has you all hunched over. You can get off the bike with this on, yeah, it's going to be comfortable. Yeah, you can get off the bike, don't got to unzip it and kind of hang it down here like I'm... Standing straight up, and I've been doing this for like 20 minutes, and I feel because great. Because we've been no bombing issue. this video. This yeah. is take 75,000 right now. It's been great. So, let's talk features and benefits. Armor that is included with the race suit. We have CE Level 1 certified stuff in the elbow forearm, the shoulder, integrated shoulder slider with the suit as well. There's CE Level 1 C Smart, Revit C Smart armor being used in the hips on both sides. And then we have Level 1 stuff here in the knee and shin, and they kind of back that up with some additional foam padding that's stitched in just underneath the leather. Of course, the knee pucks are replaceable. It has the ability to accept chest armor and a back insert, and there's pockets in the front and the back that allow you to do that. Revit has some proprietary armor. Their C Smart armor is the, the name they give it. It's a great product. It is a great product. I sell a lot of it. And you can add that into the suit <laughs> and have it all integrated so there's no need to have a back protector that has straps or anything on it. It's just one unit, easy on, easy off, and you have all the protection you're going to need. Ventilation is without a doubt a key feature with mm -hmm. race suits. This one has a very solid amount of perforation. You see the entire upper torso, fully perfed. The upper leg, fully perfed. Yep. And then they use this 3D mesh fabric. It comes all the way down to the chest, spans over the shoulders, base of the neck, top of the race hump, bottom of the race hump. You know, it's funny, you can actually feel the heat right there t touching him right in that neck area. That just allows a transfer of, of heat and energy, right? And doing the race hump like that too, as you're going down the track, the concept there is for the air to flow in and through and kind of draw some of the heat off the rider. You know, and that stuff can be pretty effective, but yeah. just having that mesh there just allows the air to move in and out. Mm -hmm. The suit is also hydration pack compatible. There's a, a pass-through for the straw at the top. If you want to add the hydration pack, you'll need to install that filled with water before you put the suit on. There's an access pocket I'll show you in the second part of this video. You slide that in, feed the hose through, and if you want to have a drink while you're riding, you're good. I personally don't set. understand that at all. Like, I would never use that feature. I've never used that feature. No, no, I feel like it'd be distracting, but if you're like in an 100%. endurance race. Like, what are you going to do? You're out there riding around in <laughs> a 20-minute session yeah. or an eight-lap sprint race, and you're like, I think I'm thirsty. Hey, man, I'm my little 400. I can just, you know, take the hand off and pop yeah. back in. It'll be well, good. Hopefully pretty soon you're not riding that little 400 anymore. We're getting pretty, pretty close to being done, Almost done with that one. Other features and benefits, right? They're trimming this in neoprene here. They have trimmed the lower legs also in some stretch fabric. Mm -hmm. The reason they do that is to try and pull bulk out of areas that are going to be covered by the gloves and or the boots. Mm -hmm. It just makes everything more mobile, more comfortable. Got a comfort collar. That's like an air preen mm -hmm. type fabric there. And look yeah. at how that's not putting any pressure on no. his neck. It's nice because sometimes when I am in the tuck position with some other suits that I've you know, worn in, in, in the past, you know, when you're just kind of... When, when you're fully tucked in, elbows are in everything, you can feel the leather kind of digging into your skin when you're yeah, not wearing bit. an undersuit like, yeah, 100%. like myself. That's well thought. I mean, that that's a nice feature. It's unique for sure. A lot of suit here for a thousand bucks. If you want a little more information, stay tuned for the second part. We're going to get this thing torn apart and give you a closer look from the inside out. All right, here we go. The Revit Aragon 2 one piece from the inside out. Let's start off with the protectors that are included with the suit. 
You've got the BTAC Soft Armor Level 1 Certified. This is the elbow and forearm piece. We've got our shoulder piece. Knee and shin. It comes with their C Smart hip protection. There's one on each side, of course. Here is the insert for the race hump on the back. This suit is hydration pack compatible. There's an access pocket I'll show you here in a second, and then there's a pass through for the tube. So if you want to add that, you're able to open up the suit, feed that in before you put the race suit on. Focusing on the shell of the suit itself, it's all premium cowhide that's used in this. The construction looks fantastic. You'll see here on the race hump and up across the shoulders and into the collarbone area, they've used a real dense 3D mesh fabric that's going to allow air to move in and out of the suit in that area to keep the rider cool and comfortable. They've included that same fabric here into the lower portion of the race hump. The idea there is you're just going to have an exchange of hot air in that area while you're riding to keep the rider as cool as possible. Large perforated panel here on the back of the suit. Two layers of leather used in the seat. That's definitely an impact and abrasion area. There is a built-in tailbone protector. They've got a little bit of foam that they've added stitched in between the leather panels here on top of the stretch panel that spans across the back. Reinforced stretch fabric, locking zippers used at the calves. Integrated shoulder protector. Locking zips here are used, of course, in the cuff. Got a little neoprene piece there. All the stretch fabric you see used throughout the suit Flows air freely as well. Perforated panel here in the upper chest spans down into the torso. Perforated panel up here in the upper thigh area. Motion panel in the knee. Replaceable knee puck. You'll also note that inside the suit, on the other side of the armor, they have some more foam that is stitched in behind the leather to increase protection in that area. The very bottom of the leg. They're using the stretch fabric here in lieu of the leather that's covered by the boots and it's also less bulky when it's inside of your boot. This suit includes a fixed liner. It's not removable. Some people look at that as a negative. I personally don't because I've never actually pulled a liner out of a suit and washed it, right? So having a fixed liner, there are some benefits to it. You never have to worry about it coming loose. It makes the suit a little easier to put on and take off. The access pocket if you want to add their Sea Soft back protection, is right here on the inside of the mesh liner. That very same Velcro pocket, once you go inside of it, there is another opening. Release the Velcro, you can get inside to remove the armor in the suit and or access the hydration pack area right there in the race hump. Okay, so any armor that you're going to go ahead and service, excluding the back, the chest, or the hip armor is going to be done through this pocket right here. That would include the knee and shin armor all the way down at the bottom. If for some reason you have a need to pull that out or perhaps move it around and adjust it to tailor the fit more towards yourself. Optional chest protection. There is a pocket right here. Undo the Velcro there. The chest protector slides in. It's a one-piece protector. You then zip up the suit. If you add the back insert and that, you're going to have a complete protection package, very easy to use, easy to wear. At the end of the day, the Aragon 2 suit, it's a lot of suit for a very reasonable price. Slotting in at just under $1,000, you get top level quality protectors built into the suit. You have the optional protectors available with the Seasoft back protection, Seasoft chest protection that make this a complete package, very affordable. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next drive.